gambling, it might be because you have an addiction. In today's Manly Minute, Ken has five signs to look out for. Hey, Ken. Hey, thank you so much. Earlier today in the 7 o'clock hour, a documentary film producer Scott Pearson Everly brought us a movie called The Best of It, where he sat down with four hardcore gamblers and followed them for months to see what it is that they do and how they do it. Now, I spent 11 years hanging around with gamblers, and I saw stuff I'd never seen before in my life. Everyone knows I have to play the races every once in a while. But I don't think I have a situation like this, but we're going to find out right now. Five signs that you may have a gambling addiction. And if you do, hopefully you can find some help very soon. Number one thing, you have an obsession with gambling. That means that you are obsessed. That's all you want to do is gamble. In fact, other things in your life will take a back seat to the fact that you like to have something on the line. There are a lot of folks who are excited by that, but then you take it a little bit further and you really just can't let it go. You can't just place one wager. That's when you know it's a sign that you may have a problem. You have an obsession with gambling. You're thinking about it all of the time. Number two reason, you're unable to stop. So if you're thinking about it all the time, that means someone has probably noticed that behavior and said, hey, you might want to cut back. Or maybe you noticed that behavior and said, okay, I need to cut back. And you've tried and tried and tried, and you can't. Every time you try to get yourself out, they pull you right back in, as they say. That is another sign that you may need to seek some help because you just can't seem to control this impulse. That's why it's called an addiction. Number three, you're gambling for happiness. What does that mean? That means you cannot be excited about anything unless you have a wager on it. And you're not going to be happy unless you win that wager. So if you're not gambling at all, the sun doesn't make you happy, the trees doesn't make you happy, people don't make you happy, gambling makes you happy. That's a sign that you have a, an addiction and you need, you need to see some, seek some help for that. Number four, you have no concern for consequences. This is, has to do with the fact that you know you don't really have enough money to gamble with. It's either the rent or it's gambling and you choose gambling. That's when you're talking about you don't concern yourself with consequences. That's when you know that you really have a serious problem when you're putting everything else, the, the vital things of life ahead of this quick, fast enjoyment. And the last thing, you start breaking the law. You start doing whatever you can to find a way to get money or to get valuables or to find a way to feed that addiction. Now, addiction comes in many different forms. We're talking about gambling right now and how that can affect you in your personal life, of course, your finances, your job. Everything will fall apart if you don't get that taken care of as soon as possible. You can go to GoodDaySacramento.com, click on Show Info for today's date to find out more tips that may clue you in that you might have an addiction issue or you may know someone who has this particular problem. Uh, coming up a little bit later on today, though, we do like to watch sports, and we like talking about it as well. Listen to us on a Sports 1140 KHTK from 12 to 3. It is The Lowdown with Damian Barling, Jason Ross, and myself, Ken Rudolph. We'll be talking everything about the Kings as they continue to search for a head coach. Good day continues right after this. But it wouldn't be nothing.